That's right, we're back at the Ted Everett auction in Monrovia, Indiana. Some of you have been asking where this auction occurs. We've been coming here all year. It happens every two months. And the reason we kind of focused on it this year is because of the dramatic changes in the economy. You know, for probably 20 years, the prices of equipment really didn't change that much. But over the last year and a half, two years, we've seen some dramatic changes in equipment pricing. If you look at our prior three episodes, we saw prices climbing in the first one and climbing again in the second one. And then the third auction showed a, a pretty dramatic decline. We have no idea what we're going to see here today. I can say that there's are a few less compact tractors in the line and there are a few that look pretty nice and then there are a lot that look maybe not so nice. We will see from some different brands, there are two or three Bobcat tractors out there. It'll be interesting to see how those sell. Let's get started. All right, one, Eighty-five, 
What in the world am I thinking? I don't need this tractor. I, I haven't even looked at this tractor up close. It seems to go against everything that I've, I've told you guys. I, I haven't searched the serial number. I don't know the history. It doesn't have a loader. What do I say about buying a tractor without a loader? I, I, I'm just not sure what happened. I, I started bidding, and at that point, it was incredibly inexpensive. And then by the time everybody else stopped bidding, I wasn't sure that I got such a bargain after all. I guess that's the case with auction fever, and right now I'm not sure whether to regret it or, yeah, kind of nervous. I'm pretty certain Christy's not going to be thrilled with this. No, I, I didn't ask permission. We didn't even talk about me buying a tractor today. What do I need another tractor for? I got all kinds of tractors. I don't know what it is. I guess just auction fever is what it is. It's the only thing I can, I can say. I mean, this tractor's got a lot of hours on it. I could see that from a distance. Tell you what, once I get it home, once we get it uh, unloaded and get some time, we'll, we'll take a closer look at it. But I, I don't even know what I have at this point. 10, all right, here we go. We're doing here. We're doing 546 hours on a four-wheel drive. He said on the left side that bolts are broke off from the loader bracket. That's why the loader's not on it, but the loader goes with it. It's a hydro, boys. It's got 500 hours. Everything's fine. Just the broken bolts, and that's the way you buy it. The loader goes with it. All right, here we go. We do about there. Put your mind on the Tell me now. We do about there. Fifteen thousand. Oh, been a seven, eight, seven, five, eleven. Oh, look, then I'll be a ten, seven, five, eleven. Then I'll be an eleven, eleven, seven, five, eleven. Then I'll be an eleven. I'll be ten, seven, fifty, eleven. Then I'll be an eleven. So it's ten, seven, fifty. Go for this, John. We've got a bobcat, boys. The tethers are separate. $300, We're here with Jeremy at Ted Everett Auctions. Jeremy, how long have you been with the auction service? Uh, since 1990. 1990? How yep. long has it been going on? 53 years, I think. 53 years. They always have them every two months? Every other month, yeah. yeah. Tell me a little bit about the equipment. I mean, there's such a large variety. How do you get this stuff? Uh, there's five of us that just travel the Midwest and buy it. And every other month we sell it. We go to dealers and farmers and buyouts and trade-ins. And what if I get something that doesn't work? I just call us and we'll take it back or fix it for a year. We try to announce, you know, for something matter, we try to announce it ahead of time but if we miss something you just call us and we'll we'll take it back or fix it for you whatever we need to do give your money back so what happens if you buy something and then it doesn't sell very good here you get in trouble don't get in trouble we just got to find something that makes money <laughs> when you lose you got to make somewhere what's your favorite part about doing this uh, just the people the customers we got you know the same got a lot of new ones but also customers have been coming here since we started and 
just the relationships. And, and to that end, do you sell mostly to retail? Do you sell to wholesalers? Who, who, who's a typical buyer? I'd say buyer? a little half and half. You, you know, there'll be a lot of retail probably today because of harvest for the harvest equipment. And, and then we got a lot of wholesalers that support us too that come every sale. Yeah, I saw a good number of combines out there. Some of those will probably be in the field tomorrow. Yeah, they will. Yeah, we got guys already wanting to truck tomorrow if they get them bought. And hey, there's a nice tractor. I understand, boys. External hydraulics. You may have to go to my dairy. She's loaded quick, boys. I'll ride here. We go to my dairy. Get around the mile, boys. You tell me. Here we go to my dairy. 20 cents a little bit of 20. Look at 20 cents a little bit of 20. You get about that 25, 6. I can set that little bit of 70, back little bit of 70, back little bit of 70, that little bit of 2 and a half. 72 and a half, set that little bit of 2 and a half, set that little bit of 2 and a half. Set that little bit of 2 and a half, set that little bit of 2 and a half, the old done boy, set that little bit of soda, $7,000 number 46, the only guy paying attention. All right, 130 hours on my coyote. Here we go to the devil. You tell me to go to the 12. What do you want? That'll be the 12. 5, 6. 5, 10, that'll be the 6. That'll be the 5, 10, that'll be the 6. That'll be the 5, 6. Now, 9, 130 hours. 85, that'll be the 9, 7. I have 85, that'll be the 7. I'll be the 9, 7. I'll be the 9, 7. I'll be the 9, 7. So does Michigan. 9,000 dollars. 829 hours. That's what Massey built in there, boy. That's a good one. All right, little 1250 Massey boys with 800 hours. Look how straight that little baby is. Got hydraulics out the back, it looks like. You may even go to my dairy. Put it right on the money, 15 grand. Look at 15, that little bit, 70. I see stuff all the way from almost new, you know, like four or five hours on it. Yeah. To, I see stuff that I believe was in the woods last yeah. week and had been for the last 70 years. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything. I would call it junk. You would call it well used. Yeah, merchandise. What's. <laughs> Now, does it go for scrap, or do you think people try yeah, to... Yeah, right now, scrap, because the scrap prices are really high, so... You know. What else you want to tell us about the auction? Uh, we just appreciate everybody coming, appreciate you being here and helping support the, you know, getting it out on your channels, and and uh, we just, we couldn't do it without all the customers. Let's do it, I'll have 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, 11, 5, there 460 hours. You bet. Here we go to Madeira Hydro. All right. Here we go to Madeira. Here we go to Madeira. You're out the mile. You tell me, is that two-wheel or four-wheel? Here we go to Madeira four-wheel drive, isn't it? All right. You bet it is. Here we go to Madeira. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000. $7,000.
It's probably just because it's the Cubs. They all know all these soul man dudes. $10,000, get that little bit of 225. I can get that little bit of 25, little bit of diesel, Daddy. I can get that little bit of 25, little bit of 2, 25, 2. I can get that little bit of 25, here comes the noise with the loader on our boys. Now 4, 35, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, it's a 1026 auto now, boys. It's a drive over deck. All right. Come on, Derek, boy, you bet. Here we go. Come on, Derek, Derek. Come on, Derek. 15 grand. Come on, Derek. 15. 15. That's not a big deal. 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 11. I will never know. 5. Come on, Derek. 11. I'll be that 5. I'll be that 5. 12. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. 5. 7. 5. 13. Two hundred and thirty six hours. <laughs> Seventeen five, two and a half, seventy five. I get seventeen, two and a half, seventy five, and a bit of five, five, seventeen, two and a half, seventy five, and a bit of five. So it's seventeen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. I just bought this thing. Does the air conditioner work? I hadn't had nothing out. I have a truck. You want to try? Yeah, see if it see if it works. Let's see. Probably hard. Hey, I'm I believe it might be cold. Yeah. Uh, what's amazing is me. This turn is good. You know that's something that kind of goes. Yeah, know. close it turns. Yeah. Yeah, turning radius amazing. Yeah. That All seat right. looks good. Oh yeah. All right, go to the Real King tractor, boys. This is the first generation Real King tractor. $5,000, $5,000, $1,500. Put that over there, put it 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 over there, the Kentucky Boys. It's a six thousand mercy. Forty some hours on it, boys. You bet. Here you go. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. Come on, Derek. Forty thousand dollars. Look at forty thousand dollars. Come on, Derek. Fifteen, seventeen, five. Now twenty. Now two, five. Twenty seven, twenty nine, five. Twenty two, five. Twenty five. I get twenty two, five. Twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty five, twenty two, five, five. I get twenty two, five, twenty five, twenty five. Now seven, five, twenty five, twenty five, seven, five, twenty 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 Thirty-one, thirty-two, 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 thirty-
Okay, guys, that's it for the auction today. I haven't even tried to analyze the prices. Uh, after I made my impulsive move there, I, they all kind of just flew by, and I don't even, don't even know what they brought. So you guys will have to do that for me. What do you think? Do you think the auction prices were fair? Do you think I'm going to lose a lot of money or even be able to sleep in my own bed due to the purchase that I made? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoy these auction videos. Uh, we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. He will die for lack of instruction, and in the greatness of his foolishness, he will go astray. Well, fired right up. At least I don't have to put a new battery in first thing. <laughs> <laughs>